Team Puff versus Racer. Racer has uh, broken hands, so he hasn't been playing as much recently. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Yeah, which um, is also why I stopped playing Falco because it hurts his hands too much. Interesting. Um, and then him versus Q Puff. Q Puff yeah. is a very good Ice Climbers player. Um, this matchup, uh, Falcon can separate them and, and kill Nana pretty easily. But if the Falcon isn't ready to escape the grab shenanigans that Ooh. that Icy's have, that was pretty unescapable. Okay. At least in terms of a handoff. I don't think there was a down throw down air re-grab in there. Because that's the kind of stuff that Falcon needs to be able to escape. Yeah, because you can smash the item down air. Exactly. Um, also, you want to avoid those dash attacks. Because against fast fallers, dash, talk, dash uh, attack sets up so much. Is he going to get the tech chase? No. Oh. Um, well, we saw a good play by Racer there. He got jabbed, and most players get grabbed right after because it's a weird timing, but he was smart and buffered a roll. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but then moments later, missing missing Nana uh, yeah. after that up B. I mean, ideally, you kill Popo, or you kill the main climber, since with these ICs, yeah. the main one's Nana, because when they have to up B, especially from low, Falcon can just jump up and knee and jump up and knee that. Yeah. It's pretty easy to avoid the hitbox that comes up flying at you, and then it's a pretty free knee. Uh, the Marth the Marth equivalent being a Marth player myself would be just jump up and down air. But yeah, it's much easier to hit the, the the primary climber when they up B. But lots of people try and hit Nana, but she's actually invincible for almost a full second. Yeah. And Popo's only invincible for like uh, nowhere near a full second. I'm not sure the exact time. That was a sick up air. That short hop up air in the middle of the stage that set up that sequence. Um, Q Puff's movement and aerial placement is like some of the best that I've seen from Ice Climbers. Yeah. Just in general. Like, I, I love, I don't know, I love his up airs. So, Racer's goal this game is to not get four stocked, I'm pretty sure. Th there's those up airs again. Okay. And I think that time it was a down throw down air, right? Yeah, it looked yeah. like it. But he's been mixing it up, right? And this I don't think you ever, it ever actually is wrong to maybe SDI out. Unless they go for an early down smash, yeah. but that's not going to kill Falcon. You just reminded me, because I think there's two good options the ICs can go for. Yeah. And so that means there's two escapes for Falcon. And if it gets mixed up well, then you kind of just have to hold that. Yeah. Oh, is this going to be it? Maybe he oh. doesn't know. I think that one was no SDI. Because the other one he SDI'd in, which is like super bad. See, I'm not sure. I don't... Just watching it in real time, I can't tell you which one that was and what he needed to do to escape it. All I know is that there are ways to get out of everything. Well, you have to SDI out, and then you basically like have to buffer spot dodge or roll. Or like shine if you're a shine guy. But okay. Falcon doesn't have a shine. Right. So Nana's dead, not making it back. Oh. Okay, Racer. And then That's this, set this a new record. Nice back here. I would reverse knee oh, here. Oh. Okay, he went for it. I like it. No. Oh. oh not, worth. No, not worth at all. Both no. players player smirking. Racer, why? Oh, Racer playing the, the character that most fits his name, actually. True. Because Falcon is also a Racer. Also, the uh, his first main in this game. Yep. After switching to Falco for a while. And now recently, oh my well, god. Well, puffs just smiling. He, yeah, he really is. You never want to... You never want to see so much of the same thing work in one set. Yeah, that's really sad. I think he was figuring it out near the end, though. So at least he got some practice out of the set. Oh, and no, you can't yeah, do see. that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Some Nana Pulse. Q Puff really uh, seems to have a just strong hold on this matchup. Uh, in terms yeah. of this, I mean, specifically versus Racer. It's actually impressive, though, because this is like a hard matchup, even against like not super well-versed Falcons. So it is impressive that Q-Puff is able to like dominate in such a fashion. Yeah, he, he has definitely good practice. He plays against Claps pretty regularly. Okay. Since they, they both make it far uh, every time at New Game Plus. Yeah. Um, I, know they, I know they played against each other this last New Game Plus, and Q